And if I were to just take a fall off now, say a um, radial fall off, just click and auto size it, and as you can see, it sized it up. There you go. Now when I move them, I have notice how they move like they were on one object. That's just how, how it works when you're in in um, when you you've made it you made all these things using um, the component mode. So let's try to do the same thing now with the item mode instead. I'm going to reset the scene. And notice how the falloffs uh, survive even uh, a reset. And if we press escape, it will go away. We make a new cube. And uh, this time, though, we're going to be in item mode. So notice now that these are blue instead indicating that we're actually going to create new mesh items. So here we go. I make 10 by 10. And you can see that I have a lot of new mesh items. We can actually get rid of these in the tree here. So, But when we do that, that means that we need to select them manually next time. I'm going to drop the array tool now and select them all. And this time we're going to again create a radial fall off. I'm going to auto size it. I have to actually click first and auto size it and then make it slightly bigger. Okay, so now. notice now we have a different situation because we have actually individual items and we're operating on them in item mode they have not been um, they're not acting like a single mesh they all they're all individual pieces and so when I um, they don't actually resize or anything like that when you move them around or when you when I drag they don't resize to stay the each object stays the same size. And what we can do here and move the fall off. Create some really neat effects like this. I wish I could animate the fall off. So there are many ways that I can move these around now with um, the falloffs. So let's um, try something. Let's try the noise one. And uh, I have the noise now and I activate my move tool. And let's move them in uh, two dimensions. Like this. And now we can play with the scale, which is the only parameter we have on the noise falloff. Notice how they just fly around like this. Then we will shape it to the run away here. If you want more effect, you can use add. But I tend to sometimes do too much. We have it like that. Maybe too random. Let's go back. What we have. Try another one. Let's get to drop the follow. Let's do a a linear.
Now let's do a skate. I'm getting some funky effects. You can always move the fall off. And also, if the fall off is getting in your way, you can uh, turn it off. This is well. So you still have it, but you just don't see it, so you can, you can get to your handles. Let's try another one. Let's do a cylinder. Clipping and I'm auto sizing it and I'm pulling it out. Like that. And then I'm going to use the move tool and see what happens. That was pretty cool. There's one more thing that I want to make note of that's really going to speed up your workflow when you're moving your things around using falloffs. So I have this constellation of objects here and I want to space them out a bit more uh, using the falloff. So what I can do, I have my, I drop the tool that I have, so all that's remaining now is the falloff. And I can still move the falloff to anywhere I want and it's not going to affect uh, the meshes because I don't have a, a tool that the fall can affect. So now I create uh, or activate the move tool. I can move these a bit. Drop the tool. Move the fall off. Activate the tool. Do some work. Drop the tool. Move the fall off. Some work. And that's just uh, another way that you can work with it. And that's all for this tutorial, so thank you for watching. Bye.